Perseverance shut down the transfer of the latest rock core sample when the drill bit started to jam in the bit carousel. Images show rock debris at the entrance. Will this jeopardize sample collection? On this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance is finishing up its exploration of Sita, the terrain aptly named with the Navajo word for amongst the sand. Here's its current sampling location, and here's Mars Guy for scale. The rocks here have proven to be very interesting scientifically with their mixture of the volcanic mineral olivine and water-produced salts, including carbonates. The investigation starts with an abrading operation to clear off the weathered surface. The arm presses down on the rock for stability, which creates this strange illusion as the front end of the rover lifts slightly. The abrading bit clears a 5 centimeter spot that allows instruments like the Watson camera to get a better look. This shows the texture of an igneous rock with evidence for alteration by water. Next up is the coring operation, which produces a pile of tailings in the process. Here's an animation of what that looks like. When completed, the arm presents the drill bit to the MassCam Z camera to make sure that there's actually a rock core inside. Then the arm delivers the drill bit with its sample tube to the bit carousel, where it gets transferred into the rover for further inspection. An internal robotic arm lifts the sample tube in one centimeter steps so that the camera, known as cache cam, can gauge how much sample is inside. Here's what that looks like with the actual images. Cache cam has a fixed focus, so here you're seeing just the top of the sample tube in focus with a blurry robotic arm in the ground underneath the rover. As the tube is lifted, the rock core comes into focus, which shows how far down in the tube it is, and then it goes out of focus. The best focused image gives a preview of what this sample will look like when it's eventually returned to Earth. So the first core sample worked as planned. It's the second one that created problems. The coring operation went fine, and there definitely was a sample inside the bit, but trouble started when the bit was transferred into the bit carousel. Sensors measured resistance earlier than normal and then more resistance at a higher level than expected. So Perseverance stopped the operation and called home for instructions as it was designed to do. The answer was to extract the bit and then get Watson to look inside the bit carousel. What it saw was not good. There are fragments of rock that likely fell out of the sample tube during the transfer operation. These probably created the premature and then excessive resistance measured by the sensors. The drill bits have tangs that have to lock into the bit exchange mechanism, which is right where the debris is. Fortunately, the design of the bit carousel means that as it rotates, debris can fall out through the opening at the bottom. Here's what that looks like in a Watson image from early in the mission using a mirror that allows internal views. Because the sample handling compartment is open, any debris that falls out of the bit carousel will land on the ground underneath. That's why the engineering team got this Watson mosaic before the bit carousel is rotated. After that operation is completed by January 18, they can get another mosaic to use to compare and look for wayward pebbles.